What's going on, guys? I opened it before Kingmaker's open. There's the music. Time's come for a little more of that Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is the second session, and as you guys can see, if you watched the first, I have blatantly save scummed because I realized after hanging out on some forums that you can, in fact, upload your own images. So I did use, if Joe's watching these, he'll recognize that art as Two Moon's original character art from so, so long ago for his art here in Kingmaker. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're picking up right from where we left off. We are setting out on our journey alongside one dwarf who's watched Rick and Morty a little too much, Harem, a undead inquisitor. I missed that my first run through because I was too busy talking to you guys. Jayfall and of course, Bay, or as you might know her, Amiri. Well, I've got to open my Twitch chat so I can see you people talk to me and I can yell at Kane because that's how it's going to happen. All right, we'll continue on our mission. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like moving on the overland map. But what if I, wait, go back. I want to go down. I cannot, that road is unaccessible. I've made like seven other characters, but I haven't gone any farther than where Two Moons is. And now we're gonna fight and I'm at half health. Here we go. So this is all still brand new to me. I'm assuming at this point there's people farther along, so please, no spoilers. Mostly for my sake. Now I really hope what we're fighting is not real super buffed because I'll die. I'll die hard. I think I'm still level one. Yeah, we're still level one. And we're fighting, what is this? It's a thylacine. Or in other words, wolf dog monster. Okay. So we'll have a Miri attack. I'll have a charge. That's what barbarians do. They charge at things. And two moons better get his rage on. He probably can't. He's got three rounds. Three rounds of good hit points and charge in. I decided to give him that Frost Giant's Great Axe because it seemed appropriate. Jathal will go oh, attack this one. And my cleric who doesn't have Cure Light Wounds prep. We gotta talk about your spells, Harem. For now, just go smack that dude in the face, I guess. I don't know. You'll figure it out. Cool. I think I'm gonna die. I didn't die. Oh, that was pretty quick. Nice. Well done, everyone. We did it. No one stands in my way. I assume these guys don't have, like, five gold pieces. Yeah, they don't. They're not like Skyrim wolves. Fair enough. We'll skin them. And we'll get a pair of thylacine pelts, which we will collect now. What's down here? We've got... I need a potion. This is what I need. Do we have potions? I got, like, 22. You know what? While we're here, I've been kind of curious. Okay, so wow. that doesn't really tell me what I wanted to know. I wanted to see if we were playing Unchained Barbarians, but there's no way to tell. Short of actually just raging, I guess. Oh, there's a camp button. Okay, that seems good. Let's rest. And while we're at it, Aram, how do we... Here's your spell book. Let's talk, buddy. Let's talk about Cure Light Wounds. You have that? Let's prep that one a bunch. That's going to be real sketchy for Jathal, though, I guess, because I imagine that does just actively hurt her a lot. Do I have Inflict? I do. I could... Eh, she's going to have to heal herself. I want to keep Jathal. She seems real cool. I've never had an Inquisitor who likes it to not be humid, I guess. So I was kind of hoping to figure out, like, how the Inquisitor works. But if I can't heal her, it's like having a dampier. Okay, so we're camping. Oh my god! Whoa, 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 okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna hit the button. This is bad. There is mad druid. I'm beginning to question Harem's actual dwarfness. All right, so we got food. The camp is camouflaged. The necromancer was cooking, so that's bad. That may have been something we didn't want to do. <laughs> Just now realizing we had the necromancer, or not the necromancer, but the, the zombie cook our food. Well, we didn't die, so call it a win. Moving on, I imagine. Yep, just like all these other games, you gotta go here and there's ye old world map. 
Jathal is an elf from Kyanin, one who is not quite alive. The elves exiled her from their kingdom for her terrible deeds. Her search for a new home and a new patron has brought her to our leader's banner. Well, I guess that's what the token fell over. Somebody spent like $5 on that Yeti Mini and they knocked it over. Boo on them. I really, I want to go a different direction. I want to just like leave the road, find Tartuccio, beat him to death. That's, that's a sane response. Oh, I found Oleg's trading post. Hooray. Do I still have... I do have that for sure. That might be... I have been thinking, I think I want both Two Moons and Amiri to dip Fighter this next level. And then from there... Because the I wanted to make Two Moons a... Uh, oh, I can't even think of the name of the archetype. A, a Titan Mauler. But I couldn't make him a Titan Mauler because that archetype isn't here. But Two-Handed Fighter is. So I'm thinking about getting that big ugly power attack. Welcome to the Stolen Lands, Ghost Patron. Thanks for joining, bud. This game is super addictive. And like I was saying before... Oh, I'm sleepy. Like I was saying before, uh, I haven't played any farther than where the character I'm streaming is. So I, I'm totally blind in all of this. And you guys will know if you're friends with me on Discord. You've seen that I've played it. I have, like, every character you could make that I want to make, I have made... But let's just rush that first dungeon. Anywho, we'll be two weapon fighters, or two handed fighters, and we'll get the big power attack and then run Barbarian the rest of the way. And just be big angry combat reflexes. Come and get me, guys. While I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a nap. Everybody. But I'm tired! Well, we have a we have a zombie in the party. So that'd be fine. <gasps> bunny! Chase the bunny! Chase the bunny! Well. I think there might be something more serious going on. I'm gonna care to talk with this guy. Where'd he go? Fine, I guess he's too sneaky for me. Let's talk about our formation a little. Where's... Oh, there you are. So we'll go up front. Harem will go behind. And Jay will go there, I guess. Seems good. I'm still, I'm still a little iffy on her because I can't heal her. Well, there's obviously a thing. In the name of the Stag Lord, the <laughs> lawful authority in the Stolen Lands, we demand this week's tax and some beer. And where's that pretty wife of yours, Oleg? She should serve us dinner. Well, that's sexist. Quiet down, dimwit. Oleg, we're just here for the Stag Lord's tax. Hand over the money, and we'll be on our way. You want to drink some of my blood, too? Uh, my NPC voices are bad. Whatever. I'm sick of you. You're like locusts. You think you can control everything around here just because you put up that painted rag of yours? You come here, squeeze us dry, and come ag... Oleg, a large man with a rough face, stops talking when he notices you. Ah, you must be guests from Restov. <clears throat> well, I should have started Chaotic Evil so I could do the specific alignment required one. Um... I guess I'm just punching. There's no need for words. Two arms! Retreat! We're too few for a fight. Let's call for help from the camp. No way! Just means we can rob a few idiots instead of just one. Two arms, everyone! And I suppose that means that all these guys are gonna buff. Blood that guy's gonna go. Blood for Gorham. That guy's gonna go invisible. Everything's bad. I'm fatigued and can't rage. Should have camped. But I guess I get why it wouldn't let me now. So we're gonna just punch some dudes. I guess it's trying to, trying to figure out how Inquisitors do anything. Oh, Sager bonus on damage rolls. I, I imagine that should actually be a profane coming out of Jathal. Fast healing, super good for the zombie. Sager bonus on attack rolls. Sager bonus on concentration and caster level checks, blah. Do, do magic for DR, DR itself. And, oh man, resistance. Okay, so Inquisitors are cool. I probably should have played an Inquisitor in 1E. Actually, we're going to play Carrying Crown when Doomsday Dawn ends, and one of my guys was going to play an Inquisitor, but he asked me if he could play a Vampire Hunter, and he wants to do that instead, so fine, I guess. And a buff to say, damn. Okay, so I guess we're just going to pop the one that does. Let's buff the attack rolls. Justice Judgment, and here we go. I really don't 
of like that one's invisible. I also really don't like that we can't hit the broad side of a barn. Go over here. Go there. That works. I love how that's- I'm gonna make you cry! Kills you dead. Oh! <laughs> that never gets old. Jeez. So we've got some crappy short swords, some crappy leather armor, hooray. And somebody went invisible and took off, so that sucks. Now can I rest? Damn it! I am sleepy! Take that, you scoundrels! Oleg shakes his fist. But now! He scratches his head and stares at the ground gloomily. The girl got away a plague on her! She certainly complained to the stag lord. They came before to collect taxes, but this time they'll come to punish treason. Now what are we to do? He sighs heavily. If only I could send Svetlana somewhere safe and show these rats what's what! He notices a fair-haired woman approach. Duff! Why are you here? I told you to stay hidden! It's all over! I saw- and I guess she's the governator for the purpose of this playthrough of Kingmaker. I saw it! I just needed to be sure you were all right! The woman looks at her husband tenderly, if with a hint of sorrow. Oleg mumbles something as he looks away embarrassed. My name is Svetlana! I'm sorry your arrival to our trading post. <laughs> can I hide? Um, yeah, I can highlight that. That's still got stuff. Nice. Turned out so unwelcoming. Well, I could learn more about them. I could wait for an attack that's going to come, but I'm tired. I need to take a nap first. There's, we can talk about things. I could shop. I'm going to shop. Let's do that one. That seems... Ooh, we leveled. Okay, we're not... Nope, that's what that plus sign means. I'm sure of it. Time to level. Good. Good. So I'm gonna... Exactly like I said, we're gonna go into that two-handed fighter. And we're gonna... Hmm? Should I not have got a feat? Oh, it's taking me to the skills first. Okay. Well, perception is important. I have no ranks in it. I guess I'll put a rank in nature, too. Because I don't think anyone in the party has it. Except for, like, Amiri. Okay. Now for my feet. I was going to take combat reflexes here and now, but I think I'm going to take exotic weapon proficiency for the, the shard that I'm carrying. That sounds fun. All done. Hooray! And Amiri's going to do the same thing. When we stop. I don't know when we stop, Amiri. We, like, just started. Chill. Be a two-handed fighter. Put your ranks in perception and, and oh, you had a rank in nature after all. And athletics and mobility. And next, and you're going to take combat reflexes. Probably. What's your dex? Yeah, okay, it's good. Super good. And now, Arim, my big old dwarf boy. I guess he's just gonna go cleric. Could make him go druid. That'd be funny. I obviously have a good wisdom. Get a pet. Just abandon the path of Grotus forever. Have basically the same spells going this way. But get a, get a pet in the front line. Um... I have no in-character reason to do this, but I'd like to. We're gonna go Druid. I don't know any of these archetypes. Mm, Defender of the True World. Face Speaker, I know that one. That doesn't really help us. It was gonna be a base Druid. Strong enough as it is. We're gonna get an Animal Companion. And I've definitely, I made a Sacred Hunt Master, so I am aware that pretty much all of these are like flavorful for the region up to including the mastodon so that's neat or you get a monitor lizard a smilodon a wolf a continue or a wolf what's the difference or a bear or a boar to be honest i'm kind of leaning on that mastodon right now though i imagine the smilodon does get pounced yeah nothing else does the monitor lizard gets poison um, yeah, I'm, I'll see what the mess down looks like. We're gonna assume that this game won't punish me for not optimizing. Uh, I'm gonna get mess down to be sweet. With that 18 wisdom, we're probably just a big ol' angry blaster druid. Ugh, big ol' angry. Oh man, he's gonna fall from grace just immediately as a dude. He's wearing armor. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay, yeah, we're doing this. Here we go. Perception, the higher the better. Next. Oh my god, he just immediately falls. 
Oh my, hello Mastodon. But more importantly, I need to take this off. Get, 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 get your clothes off, son. And what's the shield? Doesn't differentiate, okay. So the good news is I don't seem to have fallen from grace. The better news is now I have a pet dog. You probably, mm, let's go back. Look at those stats. Very gishy. Well and truly undead, no con there. And there's a Mastodon. I, yeah, I, we're gonna run an Inquisitor all the way up. I don't know what it does. Like I said, I made a Sacred Hunt Master because it just felt the most like a hunter to me. I, the only way to learn it is to play it, right? So here we go. Religion is a thing you do, and so is perception and persuasion and athletics and the trickery. And stealth, why not? If I need a stealthy boy. And I am a spontaneous caster, so I get a spell. Ooh, I know, cure light wounds. Yeah, that'll be safe. I'll probably take... I have divine favor and inflict light wounds now. I don't know. I don't know any of these spells that well. Uh, we'll take Shield of Faith, probably. Yeah, or True Strike. Yeah, we'll take True Strike. Okay! Now, first order business. When we stop. I know, Amiri. Now I have a Dwarf Druid for fun. I need to... What armor can you wear? Do you have anything? Leather armor, do I have... Yeah, I guess that's you, bud. Congratulations. Uh, what was your armor? <laughs> he could have... There was a bug. He could have just wore that chain mail. Now he can't, because I removed it. Damn it. I didn't think that one. Did not think that through. Okay, now we can go ahead and vendor, I guess. I'm losing my temper. I'm losing my temper. Yeah, I know, buddy. Where's that fish shard? That'll make you feel better. It always makes me feel better when I have a deadly reach weapon. Ooh, that looks cool. Can I, can I spin to see more? Mm, can I zoom out? Nope. I think we might do the same with Amiri instead of her ginormous... It, well, that realm truly is a ginormous sword. Yeah. And it's a, it's a plus one! Damn, okay, so... I was planning on giving her, like, a glaive. She might just keep that. That seems good. But for now, we need, we need to vend her. Battles await. Yes, but man, that mass one's gonna get real old. <laughs> I may want to rethink that. Actually, no, I'm not rethinking that. Mastodon is my buddy. I can't name him in the party, but if I could, I would name him something awesome, like Mastodon. I'm so good at this. And we're gonna vendor all of this stuff. Take all three of my butters! And, you know, those are probably like, those are probably really useful. Yeah, I'm giving back my butter. All three of my butters! So we don't starve to death on the road. That would be bad. I don't want to do that. I don't want to starve to death on the road. So we're going to hang on to the composite longbows, but that's it. Just in case we need a ranged option. In case this goes all Divinity Original Sin 2 on us. There's a bunch of like stuff where you can't reach and it's going to be shooting down and we'll want to shoot up at it. Yeah, seems good. For now, we're just vendor, 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 vendor. Sad to see those braces of armor go, but I mean, it is what it is. And a potion of bark skin, alchemist fire. We can get rid of those. We don't need those. Bark skin potion stays. The enlarged person potion stays. All of this goes. What is that? Masterwork bastards. Where did that come from? Goodbye. That was such a PC. Where did that crazy item come from? Oh, sell it. Now it's gone. So all of that nets us 828 gold, and he's got... Looks like masterwork all the things, which is nice. Can I get a... Why, yes, I can get a masterwork for sure. Deal. And I think... I assume you have a masterwork scythe. Because it seems like everybody has a masterwork whatever weapon they wanted. Except for Harem. Harem needs better armor. Can we get him... I guess we could not sell one of those hide armors. Yeah, we better do that. We better hold on to that hide armor. It's in here somewhere. I think I had a hide armor. Maybe I didn't. I really thought I did, though. Padded armor, studded leather armor. Ooh, that's nice. But, uh, man, I was very sure. 
wigging me out here. Maybe I accidentally didn't sell. I don't know. I'm just going to buy one. It's 15 gold. It's better than what he's got. I assume my deck's isn't that good anyway. There you go. Congratulations. New druid. Didn't think about being a druid before, did you? Nah. You needed me to make that decision. So now it's 400 gold going his way. Or my way, I guess, rather. I guess we ought to also pick up a better heavy mace. I guess I can still swing that, right? Right? Yeah. Alrighty. So now we've got a better fish shard for me. Hooray! Looks literally same, but we don't have to tell anyone. Hide armor for Harim, the druid, the dwarf druid, who to funk it, and a better mace, and more importantly, let's set his spells. That's a thing. Alrighty. Druid! Has two spells. What does he take, though? Acid Maw? That sounds fun. Your animal companion's bite attack. I'm a Mastodon. I don't have that. I think we might just set Cure Light Wounds twice. That's boring, though, isn't it? He is kind of boring. Have all of these. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to play safe and set Cure Light Wounds twice. Now I need to rest. But I can't rest you. Okay, I'm gonna walk off the map. Oh my god, for a little guy, he's so loud. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you make that loud noise. Is it every time he moves? Oh, Jesus Christ. Sneaking up on anything is no longer in our best interests. Servant of a dark god and also nature now. Hooray! Get up here, big guy. Get up there. I like how I'm just kind of like hiding in the corner. Holy crap. Come on, big guy. Oh, he's so slow. He tries to keep up with party, but can't. Can I not leave? I can't leave. I can't leave until we have that fight. But I'm tired. All right, sure. I guess I'm going to fight him sleepy. I got a Mastodon who's not sleepy. He just got here. Stop, 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 stop. I'm really tempted to reload and pick something a lot smaller. That is it so loud as it tramples that guy's body. Oh, can, you're the guy that ran off, aren't you? A frail, disheveled old man wearing a stained and tattered robe gives you a gloomy look. I'm Bakken, a local herbalist. What brings you here? We could use your help fighting the bandits. Where's this coming from? You want an old man like me to fight? Here, take this potion. Consider that my help in your fight. A potion of CLW. Thanks, dude. A coward's excuse. How predictable. We'll talk later. I hope I didn't just yell that at the Inquisitor. Is that a puffer? There's a puffer. There's a little corn puffer. Or just a puffer. We don't actually just a puffer. There's things happening. We gotta do things. I guess I better talk to, uh, talk to Svetlana. Maybe she can help me, like, sleep in the house or something. Nah, I guess we're gonna just wing it, huh? Okay, cool. Well... I could just wait for the attack. Yeah. Finally, a fight. I was bored with all that talking. I really, I didn't like his voice before. His name's Oleg, so he will use voice of Yuli. I see you are not easily cowed. Is mammoth? Is mammoth tusk going through Lake of Two Moons? Looks very painful. Continue. I beg you, be careful, and please don't let Oleg do anything too risky. Now the governor has become Lady Oleg. Svetlana, well, oh, man, I'm so bad. I'm here's the Tommy voice. Svetlana, go hide inside. We're going to go meet our guests. Okay. So both the barbarians can't rage right now. But there's a mammoth though, so that's neat. Mammoths are a thing that I like. Maybe we rested? It seems to be daytime now. And there's a lot of them! Okay, there's a few more that I thought might show. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight of them, and five of us, and one tier one caster. Sure. Okay, I guess we also have this dude and his crossbow up. And we have the power of the Mastodon. Power Rangers! I might. Now might be a good time for that potion of enlarged person. You know what? Can I just can I go ahead and just like right click and I have to equip it? 
Do I have it? Is it in my belt? It's in my belt. I drink this! Harem will... I... Harem will hang out. Everyone probably just sits there and lets them come to us, huh? I think there's like a hold position. Yeah. Hold position. You are gonna kick on. I think these last forever, right? Let's buff our attack rolls. Amiri, sit tight. You, sit tight. Mastodon, on the other hand, is on it. Yeah, you get a Mastodon. I guess we better. Rage, charge. That guy. Aram's gonna attack. That guy. Your life ebbs low. Two Moons is gonna drink this potion. Oh, that was the bark skin. Oh, oh well, that's fine too. Bark skin is good. Nice. I should rage though. Raging is good. Get mad. Oh, is Mastodon? No, Mastodon is down. This animal companion is not OP. What has happened to the meta? I am not happy. Also, looks like Amir is really beat up. Let's uh, pause for the cause here. Cure us some light wounds. Target Amir. Hopefully that yeah, Amir no, 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 you'll die. Go back. Get healed. Maybe twice even. Let's do that one one more time. <laughs> boom. Boom. Healing time is good. Hey, we did it! Nice. Well, there's another archer back there. Let's have two moons. Run up in his face. He has made me mad for the last time. I don't even know that dude. Who's that dude? We're gonna charge him. We're gonna charge. Hops beaten! Hops beaten! Gonna charge him! Yeah! Burp, burp, burp. Oh, I guess not. Unfortunate. Can I charge him now? And that, kids, is how you kill some bandits. And the Macedon lives. Yeah, can't take him down. Tanky boy. That's who he is. Now let's do some bodies. So let's see. We've got a magic something or other. I'm assuming that blue magic cloak. And the basics, sure. And that magic cloak is, does it auto-identify when it goes in the inventory? Cloak resistance plus one. Who's got the worst saves? A negative one. Here, here, buddy. You need this more than anyone. Oh, and it glitches through his back. Oh, well. The point is he at least has a zero in his reflex save now. Also, that mammoth is so loud. Oh, my God. Oleg is breathing heavily, but he shakes his fists in the air menacingly. You rats got what you deserve. Now they know better than to treat honest people like cattle. We should call Bucky out before he freezes in those bushes. Let him freeze. He's a coward. Now, my lord, head on up to guest rooms on second floor. You deserve some rest after such a battle. I need to clean things up. Hey, I got 100 gold. And this is for your efforts. Now don't offend me by trying to turn it down, just take it. An honest fight deserves an honest reward. If that were more common practice in this world, I think life would be so much better. Yeah, sure. If people would pay me, I think life would be good. Yeah, I'm with you, Oleg. Now I'm gonna take this megafauna into your house, if that's what- Yes, it is. Okay. Alrighty. I guess we're going upstairs. <laughs> that thing is booking it. That thing is la- <gasps> A thing. I found a thing. What's in there? 250, yeah, I'll take it. And if she has a problem with it, we'll kill her with our Mastodon. Man, he's gonna be real inconvenient when he gets to, gets to large. And if there's any, like, make him huge, oh my god. <laughs> those stairs are in trouble. I weep for those stairs, or I applaud Brevoyant. Inappropriate, you're inappropriate. Brevoyant craftsmanship. Ah, uh, locked, boo. <gasps> kitty, hello kitty. Do not be afraid of Mastodon, kitty. Here is some bric-a-brac. Here is... Mastodon's gonna bring me a guide, hooray. Mastodon will open this chest as well for some money. Good. No one stands Is this debuff on me? Way. I am... Oh, that's still my bark skin. Do I look barky? Not really. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to bed with this giant Mastodon and small cat hanging out. You wake up from a nasty dream with the Mastodon still in the bedroom. And I guess Amiri too? And uh, okay, never mind. Because they're just all asleep right there as the Mastodon meme mugs and glitches through the bed. 
Someone's not house broken yet. In it, you saw a wall of unnaturally thick fog that surrounded you, slowly moving closer and closer. A quick look out the window, and you find that the fog was not a figment of your imagination, not a dream, and then... Hear me. Please hear me. Can you hear me? Please. I'm sorry, what was that? It seems that only you can see or hear the nymph. Nymph. Blah. Mastodon Cam. What am I going to name this Mastodon? Guys, in the comments, or if you're watching on Twitch, in the Twitch. What do we call this Mastodon? Because he's now we have a party mascot. He's hanging out. I'm glad my adventure begins with such a beautiful sight. Mastodons. Beauty is so tender. You can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. You can save it from being undone. Wonderful. Does that mean I get to go kill Tartuccio now? Be gone, spirit! No, please. This fog melts my power like snow under the bright rays a of the sun and spring. I know not if I will have the strength to call to you again. We have a common enemy. Help me, and I can help you. Yeah, oh, there goes Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Kitty's not happy. And neither am I! Just know that somewhere in this forest lies an old house. In it is the key to the mystery of the fog and the secrets of the Stag Lord, your enemy. My enemy is Tartuccio. Stag Lord might exist, but it's Tartuccio first. Way. It matters not whether you want to help me. The answer lies there. Bye! She doesn't get to say farewell. Two Moon says it first. Oh, I've got a journal. I guess I should probably check that. After we're, like, done resting and stuff. Man, I can't wait for the modders to get a hold of this game. Because if there's not a battle, or not battle form, but an animal growth spell now, there will be then. Oh, is there gray stuff between the Mastodon's toes? Uh, oh, there's a, here's a new person. A Noriel Ada. I could use another elf. Sure, let's hang out. The elf looks straight at you. Through the tangled hair falling over her face, Hey, you're an adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in the stolen lands. You aren't the only one of your kind here. Yeah, I'm looking at another elf, aren't I? Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the ones who call themselves your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. Judging by the elf's voice, it's obvious she started the day with a jug of wine. Ah, good. Who are you? And now, oh, there's a lot more dialogue options than I wanted. I'm just gonna blindly hit- Would you like to join me? No! Got enough things to do already! Okay, fine. What are you doing here? I sit here waiting for adventurers who are in need of help. We may be sitting here in a backwoods tavern, but in Absalom. I have a lot of friends who are eager to make a few coins. They have brave hearts, but shallow pockets, me. A little gold would be welcome change for them. I can send them a message and they will come from Absalom through a portal. If you're interested, just give me a sign, and we'll arrange it. Okay, so this is like the guest book in the tavern, I guess, that lets me recruit new people. Um, yeah, sure. I have friends like that. Just decide exactly, just roll the character up, and they will come on my thing to 2,000 gold. Nah, I ain't got that money. We're just going to deal with four dudes in a Mastodon right now. Where is it? <gasps> the Mastodon's sitting. Oh my god. Mastodon has killed... Poor Harem, very dead, and I am angry, I guess. Uh, let's talk to Oleg. Greetings! Oleg seems to be in a good mood, and greets you warmly. You certainly ruffled those villains' feathers! Well, anyway, new day, new troubles. Have you seen the fog? Never seen anything like it before. The road to rest off. Looks like someone spilled milk and just hung it in the air. That's not. Don't waste spilled milk. Oh, there's new, yeah, there's new icons. I learned how to fix it, Mac. I made it better because I didn't want to have that bad, terrible, 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 white-haired Restov boy. Didn't realize you could upload. Ah, coffee is good. Didn't realize you could upload your own picture, so I did go back and reload using literally the art that was printed on his character sheet back in the day. Anywho, where was I? I couldn't see anything through this stoop. Not even with Torch. 
feel like witchcraft to me. Why could I not have witch? Who is who is going to cast the the fortune spells? Please, I need that. I bet the stag lord. I bet the stag lord's involved somehow. Rumors say he deals with all kinds of pet. That's nice. Hello, pupper. You are cute and not afraid of mastodon. That is good. Nothing's too good for such a good person. Chaotic neutral, leaning on chaotic evil. Okay, I am a good person. It's because I have a pet mastodon now. Maybe that's what I'll name this episode. Session 2. Oops, I made Harem take a druid level. And we're gonna sell all of their clothes and this book I found in your house. And these scrolls, I think I, I didn't find these scrolls in your house. But I found this pearl in your house, and this sword on a dude's body, and I found this disc in your house, and I found this ring in your house. And then, can I get to 2,000 gold? Probably not. Yeah, no, doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. Oh. Yeah, we might keep that. Yeah. Keep a good ranged option for everybody. Now I have two Amiris! How'd I do that? That's cool! Hooray! Give me money. All done. Now I have no Amiris. No, oh, give me All back my Amiris. Yeah, I might just run off now. Time to go kill Tartuccio dead. Oh, maybe you're already doing that. Amiri! Why? Hello, chicken. You are a friend. Friend chicken. Come back, chicken! I caught the chicken, haha. <laughs> so I guess this is the part where we... We're gonna talk! Amiri utters a weary sigh. All right, spill it! I'm listening! Well... I guess this is where we get to know our companions and the vicious direwolf hang- well, I guess it's not a direwolf. Vicious any wolf at all behind us. Uh, let's ask. Like a true gentleman, we'll ask the lady about her choice of sword. You bet it's not simple! Check out how big it is! She proudly raises the blade and you notice that even though Amiri is extremely strong, she still has difficulty wielding such a large sword. She got to play a titan mauler, and you didn't, Tommy. Ha ha! This sword belonged to a real blasted frost giant! I killed the beast and took this looker for myself! Fits me perfect! My damn trophy! Amiri's eyes flash with menace, as if she's challenging some invisible enemy to try taking away her trophy. Okay. Let's speak again later. I'm gonna try to unequip that sword. I'm gonna try to put it on literally anyone else, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're doing it my way. My way involves taking the thing. Don't want to talk to Harem. I don't really want to get to know Harem that well. Two Moons doesn't care. Can I talk to Mastodon? Let me talk to his pet Matt. Oh, oh, you, know, you gotta scratch himself with his, with his trunk. Yeah, he's so happy. Man, I'm gonna use him to kill things. That doggo was also happy. There's so many little animals in this game. They're happy. There's a dove. Two doves. And they run away. No need to fly. We can just book it. That's suspicious. That's someone's familiar if I ever saw one. Alright, off we go. Yeah, I know Harem's good. He's a cleric. He's a tier 1 caster. Why do I have two Amiris? Oh, come back, Amiri. No, Amiri and Amiri. <laughs> I don't know which one is the real one. I'm just gonna hope I got her. We already read the j -Fell. And yes, Mac, tier 1 clerics are always super good. I just I decided he would dip druid because tier 1 druid's also good. I'm assuming the double Amiri bug is the trying to like put the Mastodon in my party. I guess. I don't know. Well, I have Amiri. Okay, now. Amiri, listen. Give me the sword. I need to put this on two moons, please. Plus, plus. Damn it. All right, fine. Well, here's a composite longbow for you. Here's a composite longbow for me. Here's a composite longbow for Jaythal. And here's a composite longbow for Harem. We can't use it. Why can't he use it? Stupid druids. Well, hmm. a bit of rifle. Our daring two moons. That's me. And the insidious sorcerer Tartuccio received a special chest, doo -doo -doo, but only one of them may prevail. And he's wandering somewhere in the Stolen Lands. Can I move around more in the Stolen Lands than I was before? 
Wait, also, that doesn't make sense. She's not here right now. She betrayed me. Um, I'll go back the way we came. See if I can... Oh, a thing! I will fight it. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, I'm in trouble. The familiar road... Blah. The familiar road rolled out before us as our hero turned toward Brevoy. At his back, the Stolen Lands had yet to reveal all their secrets. It's mad at me for leaving. To the daring adventurer who had decided he would be the one to conquer them. But really, what would be the point of such a strange endeavor? Much easier just to return to the reliable shelter of Restov's walls. Set up shop, maybe start a family, and live out the rest of your days like any other citizen. In peace, warmth, a bit of boredom, and the full confidence that tomorrow will be just as orderly and predictable as yesterday. Hey, did you really think I'd choose a hero like that for my book? Ridiculous. Not our daring leader. Okay, fine, you want me to turn around. Boo on you. We'll go this way. Oh, now I get choices. Okay. All right. If I were a pissy little purple-haired gnome, I would probably stay on the road. I probably wouldn't veer towards that forest. Oh, then you've gone the wrong way. Lindsay's mad at you. Lindsay wants you to turn around. Loading screens are fun. Loading screens are fun. Do 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 do. I just want to kill Tartuccio. Do 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 do. Man, that Mastodon is the loudest. A jittery old man in squally clothing shuffles up to you. His gray hair is unkempt, and he continually clenches and unclenches his wrinkled, freckled hands. When he stops and looks up at you, his eyes widen, and he tugs at his beard. Strange weather! Invisible fog creeping out of the woods. Swords beyond the sky obscures the sun and moon. Strange! The old man shakes his head, his eyes seemingly shifting about. At random. I don't like this old man. Looks like the kind who can cast the evil out. Look, he's a witch. Also, you wouldn't give me your sword, and I'm a little mad about that. But I did burn a feat to have exotic weapon proficiency for shard. So I guess that's cool. Move along, old man. We give no alms. Yeah, we don't either. One more word and I'll kill you. Bo dog box loud! Well, cunning and ready's too <laughs> I'm breaking into my tarot voice. Cunning, short, but stubborn. He is now in an ancient tomb that lies south of the trading post. Searching for the great power that once gave joy and now brings only death. You don't want my nonsense? Then you'll hear sobs and screams. Once stolen, the land should be reclaimed. Once reclaimed, binded with the claimer shall it be. Binded, merged, joined by unbreakable ties. Oh, I can attack him. Let's see. We're done here. I warned you. You die. Everybody go. Go, Mastodon! Why do we so Oh, there we go. What did Amiri roll? I'm a little mad at Amiri, and also there's no body to loot. I rolled a three, I guess. Boo. Well, so much for that. <gasps> yeah, there's a bunny. There's so many little animals running around. Let's chase it. Let's not actually chase it. Let's get back on the quest to kill Tartuccio. Man, that mass. I'm so sorry to everybody watching this. That Macedon is loud. He is not. I guess what do you expect when you have a giant elephant hanging out with you? Perhaps I should have chosen the Smilodon. Taking the thing with pounce in the first place. Oh, there's Harem. Abandon hope and embrace the inevitable end. That's the kind of speech that Harem's companions must endure. We won't know anymore. So they said south, ancient tomb, and there's some stuff on the board. Okay, so we've got ancient tomb or thorn ancient tomb. The other one doesn't matter right now. It's time to go kill us a Tartu. Nice. Fruits and berries are apparently a kingdom resource. I've knocked over my keyboard. Also, I really like blackberries, so that's sweet. Well done. Let's go this way. I heard something else pop, I thought. Old Sycamore! That's a tree. I see a tree there. That's cool. We're going this way now. Here we go. Going and down. Ancient tomb. Here we go. Hooray. Time to get in there. Killing Tartuccio dead. That's the name of this game. Right-click on a spell or ability on the action panel to activate their automatic use in combat. This spell or ability will be used instead of a 
This part of my monitor is broken. I can't read the last line. Sorry, guys. Well, any attempt at stealth is done because this mammoth. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, stuff. Silver spoon. No. I mean, he is not happy about that silver spoon. No, oh, is that. Is that. Tartuccio's mercy. Here, he's in here. A gnome in gaudy purple guard seizes your attention. Of course, the scoundrel Tartuccio, who you know from your time in. Best off. The vile gnome is standing on a small hill, expressing his discontent in every way he can muster. Let me guess, you're still dawdling. Yeah? <laughs> Should I make some tea in the meantime? Sure. Bake a pie, perhaps? I like pie. Plant a small garden and harvest some nah, cherries. You're pushing it. Wait, you're I'm being sarcastic. Wearing pool's caps and colored trousers. Then at least I'd be able to sell tickets. Come one, come all, feast your eyes upon the slowest and the most ridiculous buffoons in Galarian. I used to say Galarian, Galarian, Galarian. Adam Spain was correct. Damn it. Sir Tartuccio, I may serve you, but I am no one's slave. We do what we can, but it is no simple feat to find an unknown object in the mall. Oh, Valerie's dungeon. not happy. My other love, she is sick. She is sneezing. Searching for I don't know what, and all this frowning. Scold, scold, scold. This is not how I imagined adventures with the future Baron. What am I ever going to write my book about? How we labored to open a chest. You're gonna write it about how we kill him and sacrifice him to the demon lord of your choice, Lindsay. Quickly now. If we don't find that artifact soon, someone else might seize it. Someone. Who's standing over there watching you right now, you fools? <laughs> Tertuccio turns his angry gaze upon you. He nods to his guards to draw their weapons. And now we have diplomacy. Okay, here we go. I have a bad charisma. I have no... Maybe Jathal will step in. Alright, here we go, Lindsay. Don't you think it's the perfect time to throw away that silly draft and start a real book? You already have a great protagonist. Me and Lindsay... Or, not Lindsay, but Jathal does have a plus seven. Gimme, gimme! Yes! Mm. A new leaf, and on that leaf I shall pen a wonderful, thrilling story of the victory of the future Baron That's and the later defeat of his malevolent, flatulent rival. <laughs> that means farts. Oh, and she stole your tongue out. It's not about not losing anything without laughing Lindsay around. It's the fact that she's adorable, Mac. She is objectively the cutest companion you can have in this game, except for the Mastodon. I see my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing the servants of his enemies. No servants. Let us see if your fools are even more useless than mine. Draw your swords and cover my retreat. Yeah! All right, we all attack Tartuccio. But we can't, we can't, why can't we? Okay, so I guess he's gonna get away. That's fine, okay. I guess Valerie's gonna go with him. Well? That's kind of poopy. I guess I'll go attack here, and Miri will go attack here, and you're gonna do your judgment thing and attack here, and you will attack here. I really wish the Mastodon got an icon. I have to like try to find him. They both want to attack, not Mastodon. No, he's gonna go attack over here. Me and Mastodon are gonna tear this dude apart. <laughs> he can't quite figure out how doors work, but it's okay. Because he's still, he's the best little Mastodon. The sheep. Well, that ended it well. Oops, the daisies. Kill the halfling. Mastodon's having a little bit more problems hitting. I guess I had to watch the whole battlefield. Amiri's pretty beat up, so we want. Let's have a boy here go around the enlarged person. Oh, is that? We're gonna assume that was Mastodon. I don't think it was though. Nope, I did 35 damage on a crit. Mastodon is cool, but he's not cool enough. I'm gonna charge this dude. Like Fine, I'll go charge this one. Can I do that? Is that okay? Yeah. Assuming Mastodon just... Good Mastodon. Good boy. Good boy. We're gonna go over here though. And charge this dude. Knock him out. Nice. No, oh, the combat seemed pretty easy. I'm kind of surprised with how much like super nice stuff was handed out. Okay, so now we've got Lindsay back. We've got that halfling bard and a magic longsword. Nice. I won't be halted. Uh, what do I want to do with you? Are you a bard the whole way through, Lindsay? You probably are. Was called for it. Right. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. 
I might make her like... Yeah, Mac, I, I can understand. You might be better with her rolling that once on trap disarms. Maybe she's a rogue. Maybe that's what we'll do. I got good cha, I got good dex. I've got one bard level. Mm. I don't know. I've never I've never ran with a bard in my entire career. I guess they're good. They're like objectively good, but do I want one? Well, let's hit the level up button. We're dex and cha. Two best stats in this game, what can I do? Can't be a druid, because I'm not neutral, huh? Could be a ranger. Everybody has a pet Mastodon. And that becomes this party, we all just roll around hanging out with Mastodon boys. Hmm. I guess we're gonna... She does not have a barbarian level. Oh, it's because I've clicked there. Never mind. Be weird. Oh. Yeah, let's just... She's gonna be a caster. She's gonna be a bard the whole way. And she's got to put that rank in trickery. She's got to do some knowledge. Persuasion is a little better. Perception is the most rolled skill in the game. Next we go to bard talents. That's new. I know we had that. Oh, we don't. Wait a minute. Did bards always get bard talents? I didn't think they did. I thought they just got like sing song stuff. Weapon focus for free, combat trick. That's for rogues. Wait a minute. This is rogue stuff. I guess we're going to get a combat trick. Because I bet she doesn't have, like, precise shot. Yeah, no. She doesn't she didn't even have, like, point blank shot. PBS it is. Worst feet tax in this game. But all right. I forgive you. Spells are important. Hmm. We got ear piercing scream. We get extra light wounds. We'll take... Could an extra planar dog, we could summon Doggo. Go, Doggo! Well, I don't know what's flying over the apartment, but it is not quiet. Loud noises allow. Let's, uh, we'll level out of sleep. Summon Monster Spawn, probably good. Seems fine to me, I guess. Let's give you some kind of melee option, though. You can use a shield. Can you use this magic longsword? Here you go. Congratulations, my dude. She did it! And did we loot all the bodies? Did we? No, we didn't. Tortuccio's mercenary. Tortuccio's ribcage has negligible things, but we got it for us. I want to look at that. It seemed from afar to be by cracks in the stone, but turns out to be a faded image of the sun. Hey! A grinning jackal's skull has recently been scratched on top of the image. Lamashtu. I assume. Is there anything else floating around in here? Other than an extremely loud mastodon that's killing my stream count. Oh my god. <gasps> a thing! Two things! There are so many things! That's a trap in it. <gasps> oh! Okay, that's cool. And that's a... Ancient Cyclops coin worth a hundred gold. Best coin you ever found. Do it. Oh, that's a trap. Alright, little one. Earn your keep. Ah! I like how I just flex out of it. The Mastodon's upset, Two Moon just. Ugh. Mm, got this. I rolled a 1 2. Thanks. Thanks, Mac. Thanks for cursing me. You cursed it. It cursed it, caused me to done goof. There better be something good in there. One artificial flower, one silver bell, one silver inkwell, 25. Sure. I guess we ought to make sure she's in the back, huh? Get over here. Mastodon goes in the front, because it's a, it's a damn elephant monster. It's what we want in life. And I'm going to all tab out, check the time real quick. Seems good, seems good. Alrighty. We're gonna run until about 8.30 tonight, then I think I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this one in half. Yeah, fine, Mac, it's Lindsay's fault, sure. But anyway, we're gonna do a little like around like 8.30, do a little doodly-doo, and then we'll keep moving forward. So if you wanna watch these in long form, as always, Twitch is where you wanna go. But we'll upload these to YouTube in like hour and a half bursts. Anyway, let's go outside. That is loud. Oh, I left uh, a bit of rotten grapes! Or a scorched fragment of a necklace, which is a shard of an artifact, and some chocolate 
Nice. 55 gold worth of chocolate? Hell yeah. How sweet the first breath of fresh air after the stale, damp stuffiness of that tomb. Before us stretched an unending heath, replete with hills and gullies and patches of low shrubs. Already the trail of Tartuccio and his companions had grown cold. Well, that... <laughs> to tell the truth, and yeah, bored. No, we're chasing him. He dies. He dies. We're rolling that four check. We are giving up easily. Oh. That's it? What a who? Who did bad? It was a DC 11 and I have a 10. I hate my life. Fine. Fine. I guess he gets away. Sure. Cool. Well, now what? Wait until Tartuccio shows up again? That's the... Fine. There's a lesson here somewhere. Something about how it's not good to... Be angry at gnomes, I guess. That's... To main quest or not to main quest? Not to main quest. <gasps> Who's that? What, what is this item? A dog? Excavation site. Not a dog. Oh, stuff from the Age of Enthronement. Nice. That's cool. But that doesn't take me to the giant tree. Let's go to the giant tree. Random encounter that I could avoid. We'll fight. I'm gonna die. Random encounters are gonna be rough. It's gonna be like 1d4 orcs or something. That's fine. I have the power of Mastodon. And I guess that means that Harem has to take Boon Companion next level, huh? Because I imagine there's no retrain to just like slap him until he forgets he was a cleric. Also, Amiri's at half health, so we're running into this. Are those. That's a mite! Those are mites! Aw! They're good die though, but aw! Go! Do the charging. Do a charge. Heck, friend. Can I get my mastin on the charge? Yeah, I can. Nice. This is gonna be so loud. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know who's doing what. Do to do. Oh my god, this is gonna be loud. <laughs> he goes! Yeah. Two reduced. Oh, he has DR, doesn't he? Whoa! That's a big stone. Stop it, mister. No. Bad might. Now give me your stuff, because you're dead. Two gold and some iron armor. Hooray! Is that everything? Oh, he had some... Oh, agate. Okay, that's not like a random bit of meat. I mean, probably wouldn't want to eat the mite meat anyway. Mm, we better do a camp. Let's do a camp. I feel like it's time to do a camp. Amiri's hurt. That Mastodon. <laughs> Maybe he can do the cooking. Can the Mastodon do the cooking? Nope. Well, I know I have a fifth person. Maybe I don't want the necromancer to cook for us. Maybe I want it to be the bard, please. How to fix... Uh, I don't know, in Twitch, anybody? How do I make other people do things? I wonder what... What's the role I'm cooking? A f role against the area, DC. Okay, yeah, I'd like to... Manage... Oh, oh, thank you, Mac. You're a good man. Blend into the... Oh, they can do special... Whoa! What is that? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so necromancers don't cook. Undead guardians. Two undead warriors come to protect Urgatha as chosen and her allies. They cannot be used as guards and guard shifts, but will fight on the party's side in case of an attack. Nice. So Harem. Harem's gloomy mood and love of solitude mystically reduces the party's chance of attracting monsters and enemies. That's nice. Amiri... Amiri makes our weapons better, that's what she does. Toy. Jaythel can go hunting. Actually, two moons will go hunting. He has the better one. And I think you've got some stuff. Harems might be... Harems is not good. You're watching. And knowledge world, knowledge... Yeah, we better go like this. That seems fine. Seems good. Here we go. And everybody moves around. And go. Have you ever thought about writing down the teachings of Grotus? If it's all so wise, why not share it with others? Don't encourage him. What can be written on paper is not the truth, but only the ashes falling from it. Anyone destined to understand Grotus's wisdom will not learn it. They'll learn it by watching Rick and Morty. Ah, oh, damn it. We're in trouble. Oh my god, why do we suck? 
Oh, we've already figured out this is Mike country. We're dead. This is where the death happens. No? Yeah? Never mind. Well, Amiri's got a sharpened weapon anyway. Good for her. Good for you, Amiri. I'm happy for you. Can we get this way? I don't know where out is. I'm assuming, yeah, there we go. Okay. Jesus, that mess is so loud. <laughs> uh. Jafu is still an elf from Kyanen, and G cancels current actions, as in GG, as in don't do that. That would be bad. Loading screens are long. Man, I wonder if I can just wander the stolen lands and find Tartushio again. Alrighty, let's enter Old Sycamore. This can only end well, right? There's a mine type thing. Seems good. We're not good at cooking food. Amiri's got a buff for sharpening her sword. Seems good. And I guess all the unique characters will have some kind of unique buff, huh? I like that. It makes me want to find all of them. Whereas before, I'd be super happy just like having the evil ones and then converting poor Lindsay to evil. Greetings. Kesting Gares, the former captain of Jamandi Eldori's personal guards, nods to you as though you've seen each other in Restov only yesterday. He limps noticeably, and his clothes are stained with blood. And he looks every bit as grim and focused as when you first met. But this time, you also sense a hint of excitement in his eyes. Yeah, I suppose we could just eat the Mastodon, couldn't we? But he's adorable and helps me to crush things, so maybe not. I have urgent news from Restov. The investigation that I've conducted at Lady Jamandi's orders have proved your innocence. Good! Tartuccio was and still is the Pataxian spy. That dreadful night, it was him who had opened the gate and let the assassins in. It appears that he had planned to gain the barony and Eldori's support, only to later place these lands under the command of his true patron. King Yerovetti is no stranger to intrigue and likes no, to plays intrigue games, fair enough. Work. Anyway, Guess Lady Jamandi sends her apologies. Yeah, good. Lady Jamande ordered me to capture Tartuccio. We were following his trail when that damned mist fell. First, we entirely lost our way and then stumbled right into a bandit ambush. Alas, nearly all my people were wounded and can go no further. And so I am here asking for your aid. I'll point out on the map where Tartuccio is supposed to be. Bring that Pine to patch. Oleg's trading post, dead or alive. Restoff will not forget this favor. Cool. GG. Off we go. Back we go. Pine Patch. Going to Pine Patch. The loudest Mastodon in the world. Gonna run over everybody. It's gonna be great. Stolen lands will be mine. Can we, can we like, jam Tartuccio on the Mastodon's tusks? <laughs> Just roll around. That seems good. That seems flavorful. You can cure blindness with the scroll of remove blindness. Oh. Alright, where's Pine Patch? Here we go. To Pine Patch! Why are we going around the tree? That way would be good. Yeah, I guess that works. We'll get him from behind. Ha ha! Enter the location! A battle round lasts for six seconds. There are different types of actions that your characters can perform in a round. Most of them, like standard actions and moves action. Hey, that's bad English. Take about three seconds. Most swift and free actions don't take any time at all. Hooray! Now we're gonna kill Tartuccio. There's a bunny. Well, Tartuccio doesn't know. That bunny might be in league. We gotta be careful. We gotta watch ourselves. Listen to me. What? That's not Tartuccio, that's a kobold! Cold sparkling flew down to me from the sky and told me a secret. Told him that it's a snick! A snick! Kobold's glory is hidden Somewhere nearby. Oh, it even that's her <laughs> Just, just, just period. Existence. Search for it. Search and bring it to me. Their leader speaks in the suspiciously familiar voice of the gnome, Chartuchio. Dragon, glory, dragon. The voice is the cobalt in prize and excitement. We know the mites under the old sycamore. They possess the magic treasure. Very an ancient. I think they mean to say ancient. 
That's one thing I never expected to see in the middle of a forest. A circus show. Learning a new trade, Tartuccio? I guess we all just know. You! When will I finally be rid of you? The purple kobold gives a start of surprise, but Don't immediately collects himself. To him, tribesmen. This liar comes to play tricks on us. You and you hold him back. The rest of you. You, two kobolds. Me. Stop the Mastodon and his friends. The party is Mastodon. Oh, Avatar of the Mastodon. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm off acid. Alrighty, I guess we're gonna. It's literally just two kobolds. Sure. Alright. This is happening, I guess. So he's got a 3-6 on his initiative. I wonder if it's the same. It's not the same count as harems. Fair enough. Little bit of extra work there. Good job, computer DM. Jathal's gonna do the charging. I don't think there's any reason to waste any anything here. We can just shoot people to death. Harem probably. What's your dex, harem? Never mind. You don't get a crossbow. You're not allowed. Why didn't they- Oh, they have to stop and wait to charge. That's a thing that we do, I guess. Well, those are very dead kobolds. And now the other ones have run off and I have to explore. First, I'm gonna do some reading. Man, he's angry. That Mastodon is angry that Tartuccio got away. He feels my pain, the Mastodon does. And there are two items. We will take them. Potatoes and stuff. And bunny and a rat. And another, yes. Rice, oh, it's flour. And butter and rice, that is rice. And haggis, a recipe for haggis. Okay, we can make some sweet haggis, nice. More importantly, there's some dead dwarves that we're drinking. This is why we don't drink on the job, kids. There's an imprint on the ground near the empty chest. It looks like another chest is the same size. Recently sat beside this one. Well, now it's gone, and now we have to go find Tartuccio. My guess is that way? It might be this way. How big is this map? Not that big. Okay. So, did I get, like, a journal update? Tartuccio, now the guys of Kobold, has disappeared. All we know is that he's searching for a certain artifact or relic in the vicinity of the old Sycamore. All right, going old Sycamore. Gonna kill us a, a I want to call him Mercutio, but that's incorrect. Gotta kill us a Tartuccio. Here we go. Now we get to learn all about the author of the book that you, my dear reader, hold in your hands. But only if Lindsay accompanied you on the journey. Otherwise, all this information must certainly be secondhand, I guess. Because that's the only way that makes sense to me. Quick check of the time of Ruski. Oh, I shouldn't say it like that. That was gross. Anyway, two old sycamore. That one. I feel like we probably can't first, don't we? We're gonna hope we do a little better this time. Let's not be terrible, kids. I like how the Mastodon doesn't need rations. The hunting took 15 hours, Jesus. Also, the necromancer still can't cook. That's good. Oh, uh oh, I'm reading a book. Two moons suddenly awoke inside the house. <laughs> the dogs were howling fiercely, not far away. It smelled like groaning. The wooden walls were steaming hot and smoke was wreathing beneath the low ceiling. Oh, this is a dream sequence. Okay, fair. My GM would like to tell me that I'm being too evil. He jumped out the window. Kicking out the window, two moons jumped out into the darkness. An arrow hit his shoulder. And he heard laughter and shouts of triumph. He surged forward to the rope bridge. Reaching the middle of the river, two moons cast a glance back and noticed that a younger man wearing an antlered helm cut one of the ropes with an axe. The bridge began to collapse as its ropes twisted and snapped. Two moons' skin felt cold. He heard the murmur of the water and the soft lapping of the waves. After opening his eyes, he saw a rocky river bottom and a bloated body, gross, tangled in green water weeds. The drowned man's empty gaze was fixed upon two moons. The drowned man's mouth opened slowly and a hoarse whisper said, Shrike River, two moons. At this moment, two moons finally awoke. Drenched in sweat, he stopped caring about this side quest and he went to kill Tartuccio. Good. Congratulations. We found a thing and stopped caring about it. Ah, 
that's telling us all about true dragons, and I wonder if that doesn't mean we're skipping a lot of, like, go here, do this, level up, before you go here. There's gonna be a true dragon in this tree. <laughs> just a, just a, like, great worm green dragon posted up, waiting on us. <laughs> and they just walk off. Oh, weird, we've come back this way. Nice. Well, do we go left or right? Cowardly traitors! Sons of a pike! Return the relic! Oh, those kobolds kind of look like the one from the advanced race guide. That's cool. Coward! Turn! It, it, Elik! I don't know what that means, but alright. And there's a, a little. Are those mites again? It's a little wolf mite! It's a little wolf mite barbarian! Mite barbarian, if you will! So, so, kobold! Go look at your relic your dungeon! Look under bed on the table, haha! <laughs> Silly cobalt have no bed on their table, search your eggs! Lulu's relic and blind mats! A goose queen! What the? That's not even a word. A goose queen? I'm just gonna kill all of you. Continue. Where's the kill them button? Yeah, it's nice. Lies! They're angry! The kobolds are angry! Such hubris in such small and simple creatures. But our own mana- Okay, thanks, Rick. So, Warlike, it's like a miniature version of the Talden Imperial Chronicles. Yeah, we're gonna attack them. They're all just gonna- and they proceed to attack each other. That's a better choice, I suppose, than here come the adventurers. And Miri doesn't know how to walk- uh, Miri, get over here. Thank you. I guess I didn't have to move everyone, but whatever. It is what it is. Oh! He died. Oh! They fly around when they get hit. That's so brutal. For no reason. It doesn't need to happen. Oh, he fell over. And there's an archer. I don't like archers. Harem. Tell this kobold how much I dislike archers. And he's just gonna veer off. No. Oh, I guess he's too close to charge. Damn it. Whatever. Go beat him to death with your mace. Eventually a wild shape, but not today. Ooh. Everyone is dead. Oh man, he's still, he's still writhing for a little while. Oh, oh, that was bad. That was an evil action. There's a spear and some money. I'll take your money and your spears, I guess. I that was a fight that happened. Now I'm fatigued. Did I rage? I must have raged. Oh well. Well, how close am I to level three? Not. Okay, that's fine. There's more kobolds and mites, and we're just gonna kill them all. Let's get this one. Let's get the archer first. Because we'll all get free attacks of opportunity. Ugh! Oh, that's mean. Gorm is happy, though. But, ugh. Attack them. Everyone attack the mind. This is... I don't know how I feel about all this. This is rough. <laughs> this is obviously genocide. No mites on my lands. No kobolds on my lands. Oh, they're dead. Oh, oh, look at his little face as the life fades from it and blood every- Jesus! That's mean! That's some adult content right there! Oh! Well done! Well done, Elcat! Lindsay, you need to stay a little closer to the party, I think. There's a one. And up here we see a beautiful elk! Hello, elk! You cannot stand against me. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> no elks in my story. I hope that doesn't make the druid fall. Oh, forgive me, harem. Oh, I got some meat. That's probably good. Food is good for eating. Harem! He's fine. He has a druid spell still. Oh, a dead man. We will take his stuff. Specifically his vegetables. His silver ring. His... Ancient Roslandic coin and a pair of daggers. And then we're gonna throw some nature no in his face here. In my way. Died of unknown causes. Here I am. See. Ask. Can anyone is it all the same role? I guess it is. And Lindsay was called for. Yeah, you were a little one. Get up there. Fine, died of unknown what causes. <sighs> Fine. What do you have? A dueling sword? Hey, I don't know what that is. I play a lot of Pathfinder and I don't know what a dueling sword is. Hold up. What even? Info. 1d8 slashing with a plus one. 
19-20 x2. So it's a martial weapon? No, it's an exotic weapon, I guess. Yeah, because none of these dudes can equip it. I, uh, you'll have to show me how to use it first. But it's just a suit. It's literally just a longsword, right? It doesn't do anything different. It's an exotic weapon. Yeah, I see that now, but why though? So I can sell it for more money. That's the only logic I can think of. Why is it saving? I require rest. There are enough supplies to camp Just once. Not my lucky day. Man. Unexpected nice. Results. Decorated scabbard, a silver chain, two eggs, and some money. Um, okay, Mastodon, we get it. And there's a dead guy. We're just gonna sleep in their dead people beds, I guess. But all right, works for me. Let's camp. I would, yes, plus can do the camping. Two moons is sleepy. We may as well. Ah, oh, hey! What is this? This count, Viscount Smolderburn. Who are you? You're dying. This is a trap. This is all a trap, and we're gonna kill you. What the hell? What even is that? Is that like a will-o'-wisp or something? Oh, I'm in trouble. Everyone is afraid of it who's not in Jaithel. Who's gonna buff herself now? I think we need our attacks to count as magic. <laughs> and everyone... Stop being scared, children! The time has come to fight! Oh, damn it! Oh, well, Mastodon's got this. The power of Mastodon compels you. Kill the will-o'-wisp, I think is what that is. What's its AC? Target's armor class 35! Hey! Whoa! 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 I can't! Okay. This is a bad thing. This is not a thing I'm really prepared to fight. I'm gonna channel some positive energy to harm the undead, I guess. Here we go. BAM! They didn't hurt it. I'm in trouble. Oh, is this where my story comes to an end? Is this my hubris and mammoth is scared? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. I think I died. I think I'm dead. I can't handle this thing. Let's hear you cry. We're gonna try to make a zombie cry. I'm too tired to rage. Die. So we're just gonna try to flank this and... Body holds no more. Oh, she's being to fear, so I guess she's fine-ish. Oh god. I'm in trouble. Oh no. Oh. Oh, we should just run. Goodbye. Goodbye, Skull Man. I have to go. We are afraid. Here's the world map. We should go goodbye. Goodbye forever. We're running away. This is the retreat button. There's a spooky skeleton. I can't beat it. Happy Halloween. Off we go. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Are we gonna get away though? Is it gonna chase us? Yeah, it's gonna chase Lindsay. Oh, Lindsay, no. Run. Run from the little skeleton. You don't gotta outrun the spooky skeleton. You just gotta outrun. Apparently, it's the halfling with the least amount of move speed. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Cartuccio has stronger friends than I do. I just have a, a dog. <laughs> and he's a big doggo, too. <laughs> World map transition. Lindsay died. Lindsay died? Oh, God. Oh, Lindsay. Is it still chasing us? Or did we, did we get away from it? Also, where's Harem? No, oh, he put his weapon up. I guess we've, like, finished fighting. Well, that's rough. Uh, do I get Lindsay's gear back now that she's horribly dead? I think is she still in the party? Well, she's not even dead. She's got two hit points. She's fine. She'll be fine. My dude, you can get over here. There's not, there's not a safe over there. Oh, nothing of value is it? Shut up, Mac. Lindsay has value. She's adorable. I'd romance her if I wasn't more interested in Miri. That was bad. That was a skull man. That's why you don't sleep in strange people's bed. Because you die, it's bad. It's real bad. Now I wonder if I can camp just right here. Just, just set up camp right here. Right where we are now. I think we actually just probably... Do the kia? Yeah, they do, you poor little thing. Oh, oh that, was, that was the roughest fight. And Jaithel can only heal herself. No one else can help Jaithel. Oh man. You did. We saw it as bad. That was rough. I don't even know what that was. I have no frame of reference for what that was that I was fighting. It seemed like a big will-o'-wisp. I don't know. I'm just gonna go this way though. This way is safer. 
Thanks for the dueling sword. I, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, mites are better for fighting. I like to fight the mites because they aren't skull monsters. Whoa, wah! Oh, now I'm really choppy. <laughs> I'm fucking afraid to death of everything. All the things are scary. This game is hard. It likes to be mean to me. And why is she red? I don't know. That's weird. I'm just gonna charge these casters because they're casters. Yeah, oh, nice. And I. Oh. Not as cool when you miss. Why is it me? Oh, did I. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. It is not good. There's worm things. Amiri's dead. Oh no! I went too far. Hubris is a word that I am using that means I am in trouble. Oh no! Oh bad. Did Amiri die? She did, didn't she? She's got strength damage. She's. I think she's down, didn't she? Yeah. She got killed by tassel worms. This is, this place is mean. But Lindsay survived. She's cool. Can she remove my fear? Does she have like a remove fear spell? This is where I Man, we suck. Need to go harass these mages. Not a time. Okay, I guess we're looting. Hooray, we collect it all. Kill the shaman. Shamans are painful. Ignore the little one. For he is not casting spells at us. Now we can kill him dead. Good. Now we'll kill his friend. Nice. Now we'll... Now we'll back up what is happening. Everything is bad. We're gonna have... Uh, yeah, I guess we've aggroed him. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, bring it. You're down, Amiri. You can't do a lot of bringing it right now. Fortunately, I imagine the zombie is immune to whatever their bite does. This is another monster I'm not super familiar with in Halfbinder 1E. But I guess they suck when it's... Amiri suffered a crippling wound in the battle. The condition can only be lifted by resting his- I guess that's what that means, huh? Whoa. Whoa. Uh, that's bad. Okay. I'll take their stuff. We've done the murder part. Mastodon will take their stuff. Skulls of the Expedition's Retreat. And we're gonna take a nap. That's what's gotta have to happen. We're gonna camp right here by the river. Where there are no creepy skull monsters. And it's okay. We can sleep here. Without creepy skull monsters attacking us dead. Whoa, this is bad. Can I have the mask on do anything? Damn it. Fine. Alright, here we go. Shit! What was it though? Oh, just a ferocious wolf! Yeah, whatever, that's fine. I'm a little less worried about a ferocious wolf than I am a creepy skull monster. I can't hit it though to save my. There we go. Oh, poor Lindsay died. I guess nothing you value was lost, right, Mac? I can hear you now. She's still awesome. You don't know. There's something in that log. I want to go see what's in that log before I go back to bed. This game is mean. There's coin. Hooray for coin. Now for sleeping. Mastodon is angry. Mastodon very angry. Maybe we ought to. Let's uh let's slide these two around, shall we? Let's let's have Amiri do the cooking. And let's make some undead guardians. Let's make everyone uncomfortable. Necromancy and Pathfinder. While I was still alive, I had so many wonderful feelings, but didn't have the strength to achieve my goals. Now I have sufficient strength for anything. But my goals there are problems with my goals. Oh, we got food. And yeah, no one will find us. And no one can cook in this meta. Fine, I guess. We don't need food. We'll be okay. One of us is a zombie. Too bad we can't keep the skeleton companions, because apparently she can just animate dead. Why are they still beat up, though? We rested in the safe place. Or does it want me to, like, run back to, like, the camp or whatever? Visiting a healer at the capital or by greater restoration. Jesus Christ, so they're both about to just die horribly. Oh, this game is mean. This game is very mean. But here's some stuff. Here's a Restavic Ranger's broken arrow. And here's another fragment of that necklace. Yeah. And too much reading. 
I'll play a lore master next playthrough so we can do that reading stuff. Oh man, this is spooky. There's a mite, but we're all beat up and Amiri's got strength damage. We might have to reconsider this. This is hard. This game is mean. I'm gonna beat these mites up. Oh, they want to talk. That might be for the best. An oversized mite approaches you. He raises his bald blue head with dignity. And his neck is decorated with tag locks. I don't know what that is. And a wolf fang pendant. To his right walks a kobold, also spelling with conceit. Welcome, peace zone. Have no war, no one attack. On the note of the fat wolf lord, you want to cheer us, we more sly. We kill him, big reward. Ward. It, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Bad bad time. Ah, I gotta do the action. I'm trying to be chaotic evil. You should be. I'm gonna get myself very killed. Apparently, going back to the trading camp will fix the badness that's happened. Thank you so much, Mac, in the chat. Mac attack keeping us from dying horribly. I'm gonna heal myself. I'm afraid these mites might be a little stronger than the average mite. Uh, I'm afraid if I. I've already got a lose Tartuccio message once, and I'm afraid that if I turn around, he might do the same. Go over here. And heal yourself, son. Kill the might. Maybe Lindsay shouldn't stand right there. Nah. Should be fine. Yeah, you deserved it. You deserve your body to hold no more. Oh my god. Okay. Those guys are dead. There can be no peace. Only war. Loot the bodies. No one has anything particular. What was that? A masterwork sickle. Fun. And there's some stuff back here. One potato. One mastodon. An agate. I think that was what was. A potion of mage armor. A golden earring stuff is what I have. Okay. We're pretty beat up. I, won't. I guess we're gonna head back to the trading camp. That's what we're gonna do after we loot that. Go, Mastodon! Bring me back a hematite and a potion of mage armor and literally a gold piece! Hurrah! Head on. Oh, more stuff. And a duck! Hello, Mr. Duck. Also, there's a box. Running, we help you. Uh, stuff we have to fight now. The duck is angry. Actually, it's frogs. Okay. Frogs are maybe scary. Are you scary, frog? Nah, you ain't scary. Fancy frog. Could I've had that as my animal companion instead of a mastodon? Because that'd be cool. Just roll around with a giant frog monster. Be the best. And here we've got agate earrings, we've got a silver buckle, and nine gold coins, and Mr. Duck runs from us. He is wise, he knows we are true warriors. Who can fight mites, but not a spooky skeleton monster. Not enough paladins. And uh, really probably at this point, this is probably a good time to sign off. If you're watching on Twitch, we are going to keep going as always. But if you're watching on YouTube, that's the end of today's session. There's been a lot that has happened here. This is spooky. And thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you're watching on Twitch, it's Black Dragon Gaming over at YouTube for all your Pathfinder first, second, and Kingmaker needs. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.